This is Media Bites, February 18th, 2009 from New York. Hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, anyone notice any mass chaos? Riots in the streets. Wait, how about protesters massing around government buildings screaming that their televisions aren't working? No? I didn't think so. In other news, if you were wondering about the power of social media, ponder the speed with which Facebook reverted back to its old terms of service. That was a nanosecond, right? They even started a group called Facebook Bill of Rights. Social media empowers people in ways we're just beginning to understand. It's humbling and exciting all at the same time. The cast of the most over-dramatized reality show in Hollywood is going back to work. The Screen Actors Guild and the AMPTP are back at the bargaining table. Hmm, be still my heart. Will John McGuire take what's behind door number one, or is it just a rumor designed to distract his opponents? Strike or no strike? The answer may come as soon as Saturday. Stay tuned. The Copyright Royalty Board and the NAB have reached a deal that some say will save commercial internet radio. However, DEMA, which represents Pandora, Real Networks, and MTV, is not party to the deal. There's no soundbite way to report on this. If you care about the future potential of legal online music, get up to speed on the issue right now. LTE, long-term evolution, Verizon's 4G network will be built by Ericsson and Alcatel-Lucent. The two companies are scheduled to begin work on the project soon, with consumer service expected in 2010. Will LTE be worth it? Three words. Kirk to Enterprise. And from the dogs and cats playing together department, Nokia and Qualcomm will bring out some next-generation mobile handsets in the second half of 2010. Qualcomm chips in a Nokia phone? Wow, I guess anything is possible. Media Bytes is brought to you by Get Digital, my one-day hands-on course that will make you a digital power user. Visit ShellyPalmer.com and register for Get Digital today. For Media Bytes, I'm Shelly Palmer.